move now to where I'm sure all these people are wondering, where is Jackson Smith and Jigba? And here he is. So I have him at my five. You have him at your three. Four. Four. I don't like Jackson Smith and Jigba that much. I think he's a good receiver. He is a very high floor. You know what you're getting. This guy's going to be productive, but nowhere near the best release in the class. Nowhere near the best route runner in the class. This guy knew how to sit down in zones, get catches. Pretty good at separation. I have like, you know, I have missed, you know, not very fast. I just don't love him. I think he was very, and I, you know, again, I, I don't love saying this, but I think the tape shows it so much when you look at it last year with like the stats he had. Like, yeah, it's undeniable. He was absolutely fantastic in the Rose Bowl, but I think he was a big, big benefactor, benefactor of, you know, Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson next to him. I mean, so, he outshined them both. Yeah, I know, but I feel like yards. I agree, but I think that was because people were they're giving their best corners to Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. I do like Jackson Smith and Jigba. I think this guy is a first round pick. I think he'll be a good receiver, but I think the upside for him isn't as great. I just didn't I just didn't love him as much. Like I no, think I he's super smart. He understands zone, he understands man. I just didn't I wasn't like wow. Like, that's a Ohio State, one of the best receivers we've seen in the past 10 years. Like, he's up there. I just don't think he's up there with Olave, with Garrett Wilson, with, like, you know, Jalen Waddle, Jamar yeah, Chase. Sure. Um, no, the, the way I like to put it with, with Smith and Jigba is there's everything to like about this guy, but there's nothing to love about him. Exactly. He's, you, you said it, he's, you know, you know what you're getting. He's going to be a good receiver, but will he be a great receiver? You know, will he turn into I think he could be, though. Chris Olave, Jamar Chase, Garrett Wilson... Who knows? It's possible, but I think there's less of a chance of that than some of the other guys that we have before. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just, again, Jack Smith and Jigba, like, again, there's not many holes, but there's not that eliteness, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. nowhere near the best route running, and like I said, best release. Like, he's a little bit slow, but again, he, like, I would say he's the smartest receiver in this class. Like, he understands zones. He understands how to, you know, find the gaps in zones and, and get past man coverage. He's good after the catch. Obviously, we saw that in the Rose Bowl, why he was so successful, but... um Again, I think it all depends where he gets drafted to. I would really like the Jaguars. Um, and again, a lot of people have him like to Chris Godwin. I think Godwin's a little more of a threat, per se. I think he's a little better after the catch. But I think Chris Godwin, I think, was the closest comp I, would, I could come to. To Smith and Jigba, he's an elite wide receiver, too. And I think Jigba could be a, an elite wide receiver, too. And, and in no way, you know, you know me. We've been doing draft analysis for, together for the past few years. If I don't like a prospect, I will hate on him. I will not like them. Oh, yeah. Uh, but drop him to 55. Drop him to 55. Like, like, like who that. was it last year? Which quarterback was it last year? I forget, whatever. I forgot. I don't remember. Uh, but oh no, it was Mac Jones, who I hated. Um, so like, I am not afraid to to say my opinion, but I do think Jigba is definitely has some some stuff there. Good size, six one, one ninety six. Like, definitely not a skinny dude. So 